Man, it's been a while since I've done a DTS guide, has it? I had a lot of ideas of what guide videos I want to do, and the first thing that comes to my mind was the reworked updated Viper Squadron. The reworked version of the Viper Squadron came out back in May for 0 0.8.0, and I was debating for a very long time if I want to make an updated guide video. And then throughout my public runs in DTS, lots of questions, especially from new players out there and those who are like coming back, they were asking questions like, how does this work? How do you control the planes? What's this loadout? How does the Viper Squadron work now? I am here to give a very informative, lazy, poorly made instructional video of Viper Squadron. Prior to 0.8, your jet would immediately be in the air after the low screen and in hindsight it doesn't make sense like how could you be teleported into the air immediately on a plane and you have no idea what you're doing i felt that too when i first experienced viper squadron in 0.8 your plane will start out right here so that it actually makes sense for once. These runways are in certain areas, but this is one of them. So your plane would be facing where I'm facing, this way. There would be two there, normally. If you're like in a server with like, let's say three or more people. Here's the loading screen, and I attempted to spawn at the runway, but this is not allowing me to, so this is what I'm gonna have to work with for the time being. But in the actual Wave 34, after two military, they don't actually spawn on the runway. On the left side, you have the loadout. So this is all the fault, and this is all the selections you have. Aerodynamics is also involved. I attempted to um, press click engage, but the problem was that Roblox update was being iffy. So normally how the aerodynamics Bruh. Oh, I can't speak works is if you've been on a plane and you like feel how a plane takes off, it would just be like going up slowly, so like this. Instead of like going all the way up, so it does follow. Something I also want to cover, this is like really important, is stalling. So basically what stalling is, is like if you move your mouse like pointing all the way up to the sky, then your plane will stall. The biggest mistake I made when I first experienced Viper was the controls. Because I once pointed my mouse all the way up, I was stalling. So this is what stalling is like. I just do this. So that's stalling, and it will show it's just stalling, doesn't like a warning alert. Stalling, pull down. Because this is what happens if you leave your mouse all the way up and you don't follow the stalling prompt. It's basically death. To take off, you move your mouse up very slowly. Like so. Oh! There we go. If you just heard that sound, that's because of the armor is taking damage. And if that armor goes all the way to zero, then where you're gonna regain it by the way, then you're just gonna start losing health. There's two ways that you can recover from stalling. So, the first one is pulling down, basically moving your mouse down as instructed in the stalling warning. So if I pull my mouse up, stalling, pull down. Woo! Here we go. Then you're back. There's an alternate way. I'm not sure if this is like still working, but you can press T to get out of stalling. I'm gonna try. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah. So that's another way to get out of stalling. So if if I pull my mouse up and install it, press T, then you have fully recovered. 
So yeah, don't pull your mouse up too much or else you're gonna be so like stalling for god knows how long and you are gonna be sad when you die. Now that stalling situation's out of the way, let's go on to the basic controls. Because I know that people have been asking how do the controls work. So this is your basic shoot. This is your rocket. This is the swarm I'm using by the way. That's my usual loadout. Let's also go away fast by pressing W. Usually I use this in situations when there's like bubbles during Viper. This is slowing down. To roll, this is the T world. You're basically going back. A to D is roll. This way. Do a barrel roll. This is D. This is other way around. A. And there's also the side roll as well. The ones that are in the main game. This is gonna take a while, but like it's double tap A and D. So this is double tap. I know it's gonna take some time to register, but it will work. So like this. Like that, we're dodging. And Q is real gun, exclusive to those who have the Art of War badge. That's um, Q. In default, it really depends. There will be about, let's say, three to four of the mini bosses uh, spawning in. But in Legacy, it depends again if you're doing it solo or if you're in a full team. Because I remember doing a full team. Legacy, Viper, and all of the minions spawn. Once you take out the first minion, anti-air turrets will become active and I'll show you what they look like. I just need to get out of this plane, hang on. This here is a very huge anti-air turret. Located around the true military base right here, there's five. There is one here, there's this one here, there's that one there, and then there. And then, all the way at the end, I think that's all the anti-air turrets like on. These need to go down immediately because if you leave these alive for god knows how long, they're gonna be a very big problem for the rest of the Viper Squadron run. Because once you come close to these guys, these guys can do very well damage to your jet. I don't know how much damage they do. They're gonna be very annoying for the rest of the Viper Squadron fight if you don't take these down. I've heard that EMP is pretty good for taking down the anti-air turrets because the EMP does a lot of damage. From what I've heard of 50 cal. I don't remember it was one of those guys. Let me just refresh this like quickly. These need to go down once that first jet dies. And if you don't get, take them down and leave them alive, they're gonna cause so much problems. For the rest of the Viper fight. Up there is Viper, and she will not take any damage if all of her minions are alive. So once all of her minions are dead and she is the only one remaining, then she can take damage. Right now she's just firing missiles, not doing much. However, she does a lot more <laughs> once she reaches certain phases. I know for one of the phases, she is uh spawns in giant bubbles that are blue. Once those blue bubbles spawn, you need to get out of there. Because for a few seconds, they'll turn dangerous, they'll burn your plane, and that will be a safety hazard. So just press W immediately, and you're out of there. Viper will also spawn in um, Imperial Railguns, and that usually happens around kind of the final phase? I have to try to fight myself. I haven't sold the Viper in so long. What happens also is that there are yellow big bubbles that are equivalent to Vipers. Those are safe, you will not get hurt. But if you see blue, that's from Viper. That's not safe. You need to get out of there. As you guys may know, Brick Battles will also have their own squadron jets if you're doing the solo. However, the squadron jets will not spawn in if the server level average is 100 and there are 4 or more players. Those two requirements. These here are V19s and they are basically Viper's minions. I spawned in 6 but depending on the game mode and depending on someone's having a moment, players and all that, all 6 may spawn. Especially in Legacy, 
But if you're in, let's say, you're doing a solo or your default, three or four will spawn in. It just, again, depends. And once one of them dies, then the anti-air turrets will become alive, and like I said, you're gonna have to take them out immediately. Air Chorus is having a moment. Oh my god, are they all going in circles? I think it's because I'm force field, they aren't attacking. They all have code names. There's Sarah, there's Halad Hel Hadalus. I can't pronounce some of these. Sultry, Inferno, Hellhound. Uh where's the last one? Icarus. I don't know where Icarus oh, there's Icarus. Found him, but Yep, that's all of the Viper minions there. That pretty much covers the basics of Viper. And now I'm gonna go into some questions that you might have during this video. One of them being, I just joined the battlefield late, there's a Viper fight going on, can I still fight Viper? The answer is yes. Only. Only? Only if Viper has 50% health or higher. Because if she has 50% health or higher, then you will be given a prompt to either join the fight or stay on the battlefield. Once Viper's health falls below 50%, then you cannot join the fight and you have to stay on the battlefield. I just died from Viper. Can I respawn as a jet and go back to fight her? Unfortunately, no. Once you die from that jet, you are to be stay put on the battlefield until the wave ends. How am I gonna repair the statue once we are in the jets? Well, join Viper Squadron, you can't. However, the good news is that there is the Viper Squadron going on. The statue will self-repair itself. Now I'll be showcasing Viper Squadron fight. I did make some modifications as I want to showcase a complete version of what you're expected during Viper. It's been a while since I fought Viper alone, so bear with me please. I'm usually fighting any team. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. Imperfections happen. <laughs> Of course, the Fall Casual and Legacy is going to have different types of Viper fights, but for this version, I'm going to be showcasing. This is going to be the default version. So there might be 3 to 4 or less V19 fights spawning in. Defenders, prepare to engage in aerial combat. And there's a countdown up there, so you are mentally preparing yourself. And here's the loadouts. Oh, and this here is the uh, operations here, so I'm gonna go EMP and 50 cal. Um, I haven't used 50 cal in like a while, I usually default, but because I'm gonna be dealing with anti-air turrets, the, I will be using 50 cal. 50 cal I think shoots slower? I might be wrong, this is only one bullet. So I'm gonna click engage here, and we are ready for lift off! Okay. Also, what I have up here, these are the Brick Battlers with code names. Because I'm doing this alone, even though I'm civil level average 100, like over, I'm alone and there's no 4 players, there's no other person with me, then I get the Brick Battlers. Now again, if there are 4 or more people, then the civil average is 100, then you won't get any Brick Battlers. Also, I know there's some questions regarding Team Beacons and what they are. So Team Beacons are basically your practice targets when you do the actual fight. So again, this is the dodge here. You double tap A and D. This is... Uh, you go fast and you speed down. Alright. Once again, do not point your mouse towards the sky. You will stall. If you catch yourself stalling, pull your mouse down or press T on your keyboard to get out of stalling. Alright, I think we are ready to go. I'm gonna let the dialogue run here or something. Normally I would skip the dialogue with because I just want to showcase all the dialogue here then. Yeah. Also, I'm using EMP and 50 cal, so like I said, I don't use this loadout very often. My usual loadout is default and swarm. You are the ones on Earth has been sent the reports to people that are Hello proclaiming the as oh, okay! Who was that? Okay, that was 
Urukas. Okay, that is it. Bro almost crashed into my flight. This guy's yapping. I know, I chose to. I chose to let the dialogue run, but again. Oh, whoa, 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 hello, 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 hello. They're moving slowly, but when. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, you'll get different tasks, but they're like more for bonuses, so you get like. Destroy the classic buildings, but against a bonus, it's optional. There's also protect, but I won't be doing those. I just want to like get to the main point. We can see how much, how many V9 spawn here. Okay, two spawn. Okay, so they also have names here. It's like a speed up. Oh. So first we need to kill the V19s. Oh and you see the bubbles, the brown bubbles, those are completely safe. You're fine. Oh Oh, God. oh. Blue bubbles, not safe. Get out of there. Okay. Anti-air turrets? Nope, well, there they are. These anti-air turrets need to go. I'm trying to get there for like the bubbles are like ah okay, there you go. Go down. No, come on, here we go. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Oh. Let's just move away a bit. Okay, I'm gonna run off because the anti aerators are really helpful for me. Okay. Oh! Shoo! Oh god. Okay. I think. Oh, both of them. Okay. I think the best way you can get out of Viper is if you go behind her, then she won't like keep targeting you. Oh dear. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, she is in a bad mood today. See, sometimes you have to. Oh sh. Okay, I almost crashed into her. This is great. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. Blue bubbles, not safe. Get out of there. Oh, bruh. Uh, bruh. Okay, this should be... I don't know what else she's at. Okay, well, okay. I'm about to die, but that's fine. I don't think I'm gonna make it, honestly, but... Oh, bruh. I think I might die. And that's the basic guide to Viper Squadron. I didn't really complete the fight because it was a lot for myself alone to handle. I know Viper Squadron fight is soloable, but I haven't fought Viper alone in a very long time, so it was quite the experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. If I missed anything, let me know. I might have missed something in this video. Otherwise, see you in the next one.